How we doing everybody? So today we are doing a requested video from YouTube. Uh, uh, Salty Dog 47 maybe? I'm sorry if I get that wrong. Uh, asked if I could do a video on a station raid from the perspective maybe of a new player. Uh, they don't necessarily know all the terminology. I'm not expecting them to have knowledge of this mechanic or that mechanic. And so, how would a complete, from start to finish, raid go for someone that needs the extra help because they haven't done it yet themselves? So, we're going to start here. Uh, I'm in my Bumblebee, my SML Denarin. Uh, because of my perks, I have five drones for this bad boy. Anyway, so, obviously you're going to go to you first. Then you're going to go to your faction. Now... I do have all the generals, but I am going to assume that this person has only the four generals. So they have not uh, built up and upgraded their capital station yet. They have their four generals so they can start doing things, but they can't really add all these extras. I'm going to use my dropship, and I believe I have... do I have any left? Do I have nobody? I I have nobody in like just regular fighter ships. Well, shoot. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to use slightly bigger ships. But so, just so that you're aware, if you are doing this, you're gonna start. All of your generals are gonna have fighters. They're gonna have the same ships I have. The, whatever you're flying, that's the same thing they're flying. At your pilot level 11, because they can be two levels higher than you, you can upgrade them. You can add a commander, you can add heavy fighters, you can add drone carriers. You can have four total throughout these. So of your four starters, you can have four of them. And that will help aid you in your uh, attack. Um... It's not as awesome extra as it you would think it would be, like, you know, having a mothership there with your capital ship. It's not quite as awesome as it sounds, but maybe that part of the mechanic isn't functional yet, where they actually make a real difference. Um, they definitely make a difference in power, and that's something that's difficult to explain, but it's basically the relative power of your attacking or defending force versus the NPC AI's attacking or defending force. Um, it's not numbers because you can you can have power level over 2,000 and you definitely don't have, you're not fielding 2,000 uh, ships. So I will do this with just four. So we're going to pick operations because operations is how you set up your targets. You're going to select target and then you're going to pick whoever you're attacking I on this character because of the wipe in 1.6 I never went back and took everything back on this character this is my higher level character which is 42 at this moment um, this is the one I make most of my like how to videos on uh, and I there's going to be two different types of stations that you're going to attack Here's your basic. It has three defensive structures that uh, help keep you from conquering that station. The more of these they have, like for example, uh, I've probably already taken out their big stations, but let's see if I can find one. I've already taken their big stations. Well, this has more as for here. Let's go to a let's go to a different person. Ah, Nash. So all of these bad boys, like this is at five, look at all that. So if you go to attack this station, all you really have to do is attack shield, shield quarters. That That's the new paradigm, and that's what we're going to do today, is we're just going to attack shield quarter, then go in, drop our ship, and uh, take over the uh, station. I used to take all, everything. I used to go sit spot by spot by spot, defensive structure by defensive structure, and take them all, but I found out from somebody else's video, it was not my uh, discovery, that all you have to do is take shield quarter. 
Take shield quarter, jump into the main station, you're good to go. But it makes it much harder when they have all these defenses because they're also going to have a lot more ships and they're going to have some pretty nasty ships. <clears throat> ships that are going to make it very difficult for you to uh, attack. So, Saragon, we're going to take this guy. This is going to be a good basic level for someone who's high enough to have the four generals at level 11, but not high enough to have upgraded their uh, capital station to have all nine generals and have all the the bigger ships and everything. So we're going to assume it from that position. You're going to select Operation as Target. And then in this, you go to Open Tactical Map. So you can see here they have a... This is a... The, the small drone ship, this is the medium-sized drone ship. Uh, that's... What is that? What are these guys? I can't remember what these are. Kind of like heavy fighters or dreadnoughts or something. So this is actually pretty well defended uh, ship-wise. So you have all these guys down here, and you can add them to battle, and then you pick your target. Like I said, we're just going to go to shield. So I'm only going to bring four. We're going to take my commander. So I clicked the add to battle, and now I have this guy I'm flying around. You're going to put it between these arrows on one of the four sides. You see how it... Okay, so you come in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Starts with reinforce, then goes to attack. Attacks where you want it. I don't need to bring in my dropship yet. Um, and then we're going to go to... Let's see. <coughs> we'll bring in one heavy fighter. Again, same thing. You want it to say attack. And then I'll bring in a smaller ship, like uh, the small drone carrier. Right? <coughs> yes. Alright, so we clicked on him, we bring him in. We come in until we get to attack. Now, this is actually fairly low. Normally, I would attack a section with four and then move on, bring in my dropship. So, I have not added my dropship yet. Excuse me, let me take a drink. I'm having a coughing attack. But this should be fine because I'm going to help them as well. So we're going to hit next phase. Now you see we're on number two here and nothing is selected. And now the shield bubble is missing. So we're going to add my dropship, which technically you don't have to have. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. However, it just makes it easier. We're going to hit drop. Then we're going to pick the three that we did before. You click it again, and now we can move it in. You want it to be on siege. Uh, it was heavy fighter. Siege. And wah, drone carrier. Siege. So you don't want it out here, and you don't want it inside. You want it on siege. What Siege is doing, these ships are circling the station and providing air support for the dropship that's landing on the landing pad to fight the soldiers in person. And then we're going to execute that. And you're going to see that it actually performs your actions. How it's going to go. Then we're going to hit close, because that is done. Now, I am just on the other side of the gate. I purposely lined it up. I'll show you that. I purposely lined myself up one jump from it. Um, <coughs> and I've already set it to where I can just go straight in, and then we're going to go and attack. Now, I'm going to hit uh, you again. I'm going to go back to Faction. I'm going to go to op Operations. And I'm just going to hit this button right here. It looks like a thumb hitting the red button called Execute. Now it's executed. Now we're going to attack that. So as soon as I go through here, you're going to notice a change in the system that you wouldn't normally see. i got to make sure I have my um, crew set up because I've been flying my mothership around. And I pro probably have Momo. No, I have it set correctly. Okay. So we're going to hit T for the system map. We are not going directly to the target. We're going to the escape route first. That is where all of your uh, NPC generals are waiting for you to show up. So 
when you get here, then all of a sudden, so we've got one of my ships there, one of my ships there, and one of my ships there. So, well, there's another one. So now I can go ahead, click to that location. Oop, not that. Right there. I suggest always saving just before jumping in. Once you land on grid for the fight, you cannot save the game. So I always save right before jumping in. I always set my weapons to max. And then we head in. Your guys will land on grid before you do. And then I'll explain as we go. Shield, for the most part, is always going to be to the right. This is for the most part. We're going to hold the letter B. That's battle drive. Hold it until it actually starts you moving. Let go of it and just point at the target. You never have to do anything else. Hit tab, bring out your guns. It will drop itself out of warp where it needs to. So, I have drones in this ship. I'm going to bring them out. F2, F2. They need to be on free-for-all. So I've got drones, i got my guns out, and we're all here at Shield Quarter. We have to, if you look over here, there's 2810. We have to remove 10 enemies from this space in order to advance our position all the way to the end. You can kind of see, yeah, see that right there? That's where they're actually tracking at. You can actually kill them if you're careful with your aim. Because they like to fly away from you because they're punks or something. I don't know why they like to do that. It's a pain in the butt. Missile. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Where's he at? There's five somewhere, but where are they? And the fastest way to bring your drones back in on these drone ships are F2, F5. And they come in very quickly. I'm just going to bring mine in because they're not doing me any good while we're waiting for these guys that are just off grid, which is a huge pain. Go ahead and get a pod while I'm waiting. Uh, nope. Okay. Fighter. Where's he at? We're almost there. You're going to want to be aimed towards that star once we take over this position. The, the shield has to be ours. This part right here has to be ours before we can head into the star. Recharging. And there it is. So, you're going to, as you can, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see right here, hold control plus middle mouse button. So we're going to control middle mouse. You see at the very top it's moving, moving, moving. As soon as it gets all the way, it's going to send your guys. Then I'm going to hit hold B again to advance to the next location. And the next location is literally the station. So because we didn't take out all the positions, there will be bad guys around this. Uh, they show up just after we've landed on grid. There they are. We do have to take them out. Well, I shouldn't say you have to take them out. It certainly helps if you take them out. But they do drop pretty quickly. Okay. So here's what you're looking for. You want to get up here, and you see where my dropship is. You want to go assist them. You do not have to... Well, you, first off, you cannot physically land on the station. It won't let you. It'll just bounce you off the station. We're going to get out of our ship, hovering over the station. We're going to get down here. Ugh! We're going to bounce off shit. 
pull out a sniper rifle and find something to shoot at. Oh, I missed. And that's it. As soon as you hear the yaaah, you've won, and the rest will fall. So now is when you decide, do you want to capture it, plunder it, or destroy it? Be cautious of plunder. There is, whether the dev said he's fixed it or not, there is still a bug. If you plunder the station, sometimes it will show up as plundered forever, and you can't build anything there. Sometimes it even prevents you from taking the system. I use only capture or destroy. I destroy their stations, and I capture their factories. So the things that produce resources that I need, I do capture. And the things that, uh, like their physical stations, I just destroy them because I just don't need them. <clears throat> and now, if I hit you... So first off, we are in... If you, uh, buttons. If you look at, up here, Conaria. And now if I go to you, Faction, if I go to my structures, go all the way to the very bottom, it's always going to be the newest one, says Conaria, we took a space factory. And you can see there are three online modules. And I have crap loads. I'm, I'm always at cap because I have, in my systems, I have diode. And diode makes so much money that I, I'm always buying. So I'm going to immediately online these things. You do not have to do this. I do it because it makes it even harder for the in NPC to defeat you when you, they attack you, because they will attack to try to take things back from you. So I'm just going to go ahead and online all these. And there we go. Now we have what's called a Death Star. So it, it's fully online, all seven modules, the highest defense it can have. I do not have this system yet, but I now have this station. So it says WRA next to it. And that really is it. Now sometimes it still gets stuck in the we need help at shield quarters or you know whatever he sent or turret quarters all you have to do is either you can oh before you warp out of this save your game because it's been crashing doing that as well it's uh it is what it is um you can quick save quick load that's one of the ways to end the event, or you can leave the system and come back. <clears throat> Assuming you're wanting to do something back in that system. But it sounds like the event ended, because normally we would be hearing it on repeat constantly. We need help at shield quarters, or taking a lot of heat here, or something like that. It, it just does it over and over and over again. And that is how you raid a station. If there are further questions on it, Please feel free to ask. I will try and answer any of them I can. Um, hopefully that was in-depth enough to help you to be able to better take a, a station. Have a good one, guys.